Today we are gonna be going over Google Search Console. Google Search Console is one of those tools that is super powerful, but I feel like not a lot of people understand or use or utilize to its full potential. So I wanna make sure that we're going over everything that Google Search Console has to offer in this beginner-friendly tutorial. Now for those who don't understand what Google Search Console is, Google Search Console is a way for you to understand which terms um, are actually bringing in traffic to your website, which of your blogs are actually ranking on inside of Google and what position they're actually ranking on. Is it one, two, three, four, 20, 40, whatever it may be. So this is a very powerful tool. It's also a great way for you to understand different, uh, it's also a great way for you to troubleshoot if there are broken links inside of your website and something that I definitely recommend everybody installs on their website. Now, if you are new to Google Search Console and you do wanna get it installed on your website, I recommend checking out this video right here. I actually created a full um, tutorial on how to get your domain verified and get Google Search Console set up. But without further ado, let's jump into what Google Search, or let's jump in how to use Google Search Console. So we're gonna float our head on over this way. And as you can see here, we are inside of Google Search Console. Now, if you have access to multiple ones, notice there's a little drop down here that allows you to go and uh, check different sites. We are going to be staying with this house to home DIY. And for those who are wondering, I'm on search.google.com uh, forward slash search console. I will link that down below. And as soon as you come into Google Search Console, you'll notice there are a few different things. In this left-hand side, we have a lot of different uh, breakdown menus that we're gonna be going over, some more important than others. And then uh, as soon as you come here, you'll notice that you are greeted with a performance tab. Now, this is going to show us the total web search clicks coming to our website. So as you see, this shows you oh, on this day, on Saturday, March 12th, I had 41 search clicks coming through. And then if we scroll down, it is going to give us an idea of our coverage. As you see here, I have 39 valid pages and zero pages with errors, which is a great thing. There oftentimes can be uh, random errors that can fire inside of here. If you ever do have an error, we're gonna go over how to find them and troubleshoot those. And then it also has a, a overview of your experience for your site and the enhancements. So over, right from the beginning, this overview tab is very helpful for you to get an idea of the overview of your website and how the performance is. Another helpful thing is in this overview tab is this search console's insight. I really like this one right here if you click inside of it it just kind of gives you a an executive summary if you will of what is actually going on um, for your site and what's working well so as you can see here here's my most search queries for this blog electric fireplace um, right here this is ranking in the top five search results which is awesome and shows me that maybe I need to double down on this specific kind of content or maybe I need to go and, and optimize this page even more maybe add more affiliate links inside of there because it is ranking and getting traffic and here's a few more um, that are in the top five search results if we keep going over, there are more as well that kind of give you this little trophy that make you feel good and show you where you are currently ranking inside of your site. But we're gonna go back over here. So a great way for you to understand which pages right off the bat are doing well. Now, if we come over here to this left-hand side, we're gonna go over to the, um, you can see there's this URL inspection tool. If you come over here and you click in any URL, so for this one, we're gonna type in this, uh, we'll type in the one that we just recently did. Now, what this is doing is it's double checking that this, this specific page is indexed inside of Google. So say you publish a new blog or say you just launched a new website and you want, you're not sure if it's been indexed inside of Google, which means they've added it into their, their um, area where it can be crawled and searched. Uh, this this is an opportunity for you to go and put it inside of there to say, oh, yep, it has been submitted and everything is working. So if you see all these green check marks, that means that it has been submitted inside of Google and it qualifies to rank inside of Google. Doesn't mean it always will, doesn't mean it's not gonna, it doesn't mean it's gonna show up in the first position, but it means that Google is able to read the site. So something that's very important when you're launching new blogs to make sure that it is live inside of there. Now, going on to the more important things, we have the performance tag and performance tab. And this is where I want to spend majority of the time because this is where you can glean the most insights. So if you come over here to the search results, it's gonna give you a better breakdown of this overview tab. So as you can see here, we have the search type is web and you can go through and change this if you'd like to image videos news, but for most of you, you're gonna to wanna to keep this as web. We're gonna hit cancel. And the date we have here is the last three months. If you wanted to go through and change this, you could do that as well. And you could even come through and do a compare filter. If you wanted to compare this three months to the previous three months, we're gonna come back and look at that in just a second after we kind of go through what we're looking at here. So as you see here, it gives us the total clicks, the total impressions, and then if we wanted to add the average click-through rate or the average position, we could do that. The average click-through rate is just the total impressions, or the total clicks divided by the total impressions. If we wanted to add a graph to see what the trend, like, trend for average click-through rate is, we could do that as well. And then the average position is 14.9. Um, Obviously. You 
you want this to be slowly going down. Uh, you want your average position to be as low as possible because that means you're showing up in number one, number two, three, or whatever it may be. And you see for this one, we are our average uh, 19. If you ever have questions on these metrics, you can hover over this little question mark and it'll tell you exactly what it is, which is really helpful. We're gonna uncheck those though. And we're gonna come back over here down to this tab. Uh, and in here, there's a lot of great information. So as you see, the, the queries, now queries is the thing that someone typed into Google to, in order to see your website or see your specific um, your specific search result. So if you come over here, you can see my top queries as we saw from the, the overview is DIY fireplace, electric fireplace, board and batten, batten entry wall. One of the ways that I like to use this report is actually sorting this by impressions so that I'm seeing the most impressions that I'm getting and then identifying ones where I'm getting, keywords where I'm getting a lot of impressions but not a lot of clicks. So as you see here, I get almost 10,000 impressions but only 14 clicks. That means I need to go through and update my headline inside of the blog, update the the, the, the meta descriptions and the tags and, the, and maybe make the headlines and the descriptions a little bit more juicy so that people are going through and clicking that more. Now if, I, now, if I wanted to understand which page this specifically, this this is ranking for this term right here, I can click there, it's going to add a filter, as you can see, the query equals board and batten, and then from there, I can go over to page, and this is the page I need to go through and optimize more for SEO, so it's a very actionable way to look at, at the data. But if we go through, and you can also see the countries that it's going to, the devices, uh, mobile breakdown, search appearance, um, which is really helpful, and then dates as well, uh, you can see a breakdown by dates. Um, and obviously you can see all of that information as well. If we exit out of the query, you can see the pages that are ranking too. If you wanted to see it without that query filter that we just added there, the countries, devices, and the search appear appearance all inside of this one section. Now, as I mentioned, if you wanted to go back and compare to see kind of where you're trending, uh, maybe this three months compared to the last three months, you could do that here. You could do compare this to the last and then hit apply there. It's gonna add this nice little filter where we can see, okay, this time period, the last three months we were at uh, 20, 2,500 clicks and the previous we were at almost 4,000 clicks and then we had uh, 210,000 the last three months and then the previous three months we had 270,000. Um, so as you can see, my site has actually gotten less traffic over the previous three months, which is no surprise because it, it is very uh, seasonalized because there's a lot of like fireplace things that I, I rank for, but still very helpful to know and to compare dates back and forth. So now we're gonna move on and we are gonna be skipping some of these sections because I do wanna keep this very beginner friendly. There are some more, more advanced things that you can do inside of Google Search Console. So we are gonna be skipping some of these, but the next one that I do want to talk about that I think is really helpful is this page experience. Now this gives you a good idea of your overall site health. As you can see here, as, as we look at this, I have 20 um, different failing URLs. Now don't let this scare you. Sometimes these can be, they can make it sound like it's a really bad, like your website's about to blow up basically. But we have good ones that are no issues detected. But if we look inside of here for mobile, we have 20 20 um, different issues and then same for desktop now if we click now if we click inside of here you're gonna notice it's gonna take us to this core web vitals tab so you can click here to get there or click here we're gonna click this one and it's going to take us to this um, uh, area where it shows us the amount of needs improvement URLs that we currently have. So as you see, we've made some progress here. We've dropped some of them. And before, you know, we had 37 and now we're down to 19. And the thing that I really like about Google Search Console is it tells you exactly what the problem is and you can really easily find a solution on how to fix it. So as you see here, we have this CLS issue, more than 1.0 mobile, which honestly, um, so if you ever are curious what these mean, all I simply do is, is click inside of here. It will show you the affected URLs and then if you're like, okay, what does that even mean? What I'll do is I'll come over, I'll grab this guy right here, I'll go into Google, give it a Google search, and then uh, come over this way. And usually the first one inside of this, it gives you, a, most of these are really easy to find. So as you see here, here is exactly how to solve this issue that people are looking for. The community has gone through and done that. So I encourage you to go through if you are wondering what this error means. Google it, see if there's an easy solution for it or send it over to your developer and have them go through and look at it. Once this problem has been solved, you can go through and say validate fix and Google will go then go and crawl your website again and make sure that that problem has been solved. And that is everything that I wanna go over in this beginner friendly tutorial for Google Search Console. Now, if you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe because I will be creating more content on how to utilize Google Search Console. And if you would like, you can also check out this video up here that, that YouTube is recommending to you and we'll see you in the next one.